Hey y'all, it's Jessica at Pretty Prints and Paper and I wanted to update you on how it is that I'm planning these days. What is my system? I've shifted it a couple times because quarantine will do that to you. Um, I have a couple components of my system and the first one is the Passion Planner. This is the pro size, which is the medium, and it is the hardbound, undated, meaning that all of the monthlies are in the front, undated, and then it's got weekly starting on Mondays, and it's vertical, which I love. I am team vertical. And then I also have inside this agenda cover, I have my bullet journal. So here's how I use these things together. Uh, first, um, this sticker is from Kitty Zombie Co., and I love the hollow on it and the message right on the front. I love that it's a hardbound as well because it just is so much more stable when I put it up on my easel. But each week I go through and uh, I add some stickers or whatever highlights I want to use and I go through my week and I look at what is coming. That is a very common theme in all of my planning is that I just love to see what is coming up for that week. And using a couple sticker sets uh, or just highlighters, I sit and I mark off, first of all, what is on my calendar. I use an online calendar for work. It's where all my teams are and how we collaborate. So everything is online that way. That's how I know where to be. So I just fill in first, what are the things already on my calendar? And I like to kind of see what are the major projects, what are the major chores that I have on, on deck for the week so that I can plan a little bit around those things. So uh, looking at the time that's left, I can be like, okay, I know that uh, certain social things are going to take up my time this week. Certain s times are going to be opened up for things like working out or seeing people. And for example, like this was l the week before and I knew there are certain times that were free and certain times that were open. And so it's just really nice to see that all laid out. I didn't used to use the hourly, but I am liking it just as for ease of reference. Or here, I knew that this whole day was blocked off. So everything that I had during the week was going to lead up to this really, really big day. And trying to understand my energy so that I can plan better for it and make sure that I am leaving myself enough time to do maintenance, to be able to relax and take it easy and not have to work all the time. And doing something as a side hustle while having a very full-time job is really challenging when it comes to energy, especially during a pandemic. So I'm trying to make sure that I leave enough open space and not feel the need to fill it with stuff that's purely productive without any kind of life-giving energy to it. So um, in the past couple weeks, I have used this good things that have happened uh, column to look at my sleep and I monitor that by adding another, the time on the side and then the days of the week here, and I every morning I just use a, a Tombow or a highlighter and mark when I went to sleep and when I woke up. So you can see I went to bed a little bit later here and then kind of on time here. And then there are times where I add this chart to rate my sense of productivity, and that'll be this dot chart here. I got that idea from line.unfolding on Instagram in their bullet journal, and I loved it, so I kind of borrowed that idea. And on the side are my habits, and I use a stamp right now from, um, I think, Explorers Co. I'll link it down below. And that allows me to like see my habits and kind of check in with them throughout the week. And being able to do this on Sundays allows me to really get my head around the priorities of the week. Before I get into the week, I get so wrapped up in the day-to-day -day tasks that sometimes I forget some of the major pieces that I need to work on. This is great for making sure that I have my progress made on my projects and that I'm not losing track of other things that are maybe not in my face, in my email inbox, but things that I do need to make progress on. So uh, that is all here. I have to like get better about using this, but for now I've got my priorities up top because, you know, your girl's not doing anything before 8.30 in the morning. So I use that for my priorities. That's, those are the things I really want to get done that day. And instead of today's focus, I use it for weather 
And that is just really nice to be able to just see like, oh shit, it's going to be really, really freaking cold this week in Minnesota. So that are the major, those are the major things that I use this for. And then um, I, I also like the option to be able to look at meals. I'm trying to figure out the meal planning thing because I cook for myself and sometimes I go out and I don't always plan that. So trying to keep something that's more flexible with leftovers and moving it around the week. Um, I just, I love this sticker so much. It's Michelle Obama from Capital Chic Designs. So I've been really liking the mix of using highlighter and then stickers. Okay, so that is like my weekly. And I have it um, standing up on my uh, easel. This is just a photo like holder from Michaels that I got. Uh, I added a something similar in my Amazon favorites if you want to check that out. But honestly, having this has been a game changer because I am an out of sight, out of mind person. And having this sitting here on my desk because I'm not going anywhere allows me to just keep things in front of me as I go so that I can see my schedule at a glance. I can see what those major projects are because the rest of the time, I am in my bullet journal. This is a cloth and paper agenda cover, and inside I have my Archer and Olive notebook, and this is my kind of day-to-day list-making mecca, I suppose. Um, so each day I have just the day and on the left hand side I started doing tracking for my wellness and other things that I'm eating and sometimes my mood and health symptoms so that I can just see where where I have the most energy where I have the most focus for my work and making sure that I can log down um, some of the things that I'm eating because I'm trying to eat less sugar trying is the operative word there and then on the right hand side I have the highlights which point to the most important things so each morning I look again at the top priorities from my weekly and transfer some of them into my daily and throughout the day of course there's enough room for me to add notes to add additional to do items the really really detailed tasks and keeping track of things like what I've spent money on or mini journaling that's inside there and I keep it pretty simple lots of sticky notes and lately I have been matching some of the leftover sticker themes to the one in my weekly, which has been super cute and uses up the stickers in a more uh, complete way. So yeah, these are the stickers from the sticker set that are coordinated with this week, which I'll show you here. So you can see that those go together and um, kind of coordinate, which is just aesthetically appealing. Chef's kiss. All right. So anyway, that is my day to day. I love having a bullet journal because uh, you can just flip the page and make whatever lists that you want. Like the other weekend I went away and um, I journaled about, you know, what my self care regimen is going to be and reflections on that. Uh, if I have some unstructured thoughts, I will grab this. This is uh, kind of a Franken notepad. I or ordered two of these notepads from Cloth and & Paper and then I put their sticker uh, cover, glass cover on top with some one inch rings from Tool. I think those are from Staples or Office Max. But I matched together some of these pages and some of these pages. So it's kind of like a notebook of requirement or handy dandy notebook if you remember from Blue's Clues. And then whenever I'm done with them I can just kind of tear them out or reorganize them and carry on. Sometimes I just want to like see I can grab something and just make a quick list that's kind of disposable or notes that are on top of mind during a meeting. So I've got that going on. Um, everything is at my desk so I can pretty easily reach for it and I use a different notebook that I take notes in for my class that I'm teaching. So on my desk I also have this from Notebook Therapy which is from uh, a Suki notebook which I think is really great. It's just a little bit smaller than an A5 and in here is just my notes I take during class. So as the students are chatting and I just make some observations or I jot down like the mini agenda for the day so I kind of know what's happening. That's there. 
And then I started this Baron Fig Confidant like literally this week to take notes at work. And um, I haven't done much in it yet, but now I'm realizing now that the school year has started, our projects are really kicking off again and just wanting to take notes in a more, you know, cohesive place. This is gonna be where my work notes are. The bullet journal is for my tasks. The weekly overview and my passion planner is to like the big picture. And then these are just like the nitty gritty notes that I'm taking. And then I'll transfer whatever tasks into the, the bullet journal so that I can keep it on one spot. That's how I'm doing it so far. And who knows, uh, this semester might bring just completely different challenges and I'll change it again. But that's kind of the beauty of planning is that we continually tweak for what we need it to do. So that's what I've got for now. Have you tried any of these notebooks? Do you, are you curious about hearing more about any of them? Any questions, leave them down below. If you like it, share it, like it, whatever, comment. I don't care, but I hope that you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.